Oh, oh, one other. How much time has this been? Oh my God. Anyway, something else I wanted to rant about on this video. Some of you might be saying, well, Scott, why did you get four terabyte hard drives? I mean, there's 12 of them, sure. That's 48 terabytes of like total raw storage, but surely if you have one system chassis, you'd, you'd want more storage, right? I mean, I'm even talking about putting an external disk shelf on this, which by the way, will have another 12 four terabyte hard drives. And it's like, well, so that's 96 terabytes. Why not just get eight terabyte hard drives and just have the one chassis? That's a good question. I mean, first of all, I got these hard drives cheapest because like I said, they came with the system and the system was like 450 bucks, something along those lines, which is probably about $300 for the drives, which is $25 a drive. So these were insanely cheap. I mean, obviously eight terabyte hard drives are gonna cost a lot more than that. But here's the thing. Let's say I had an HP DL380 like this and I didn't get it with hard drives, and I needed to buy hard drives to put in it. With the 12 4 terabyte hard drives, like I said, that's 48 terabytes of raw space. I could get 48 terabytes of raw space by just populating half this chassis with six 8 terabyte hard drives, and then have blank spaces so I could add more storage capacity later, or instead of adding the whole second disk shelf, just populate the rest of the thing. But let's say I forget about the second disk shelf for now and just talk about just this unit itself. That is absolutely true. Here's the thing though. If I already only use six eight terabyte drives, remember I'm using I'm gonna run this in a RAID 6 configuration, which means two parity drives. So with six drives and two parity drives, that means I only have four data drives, which means those six eight terabyte drives are actually only going to be usable for for 32 terabytes of usable storage space. Compare that to 12 4 terabyte drives, where I have two parity drives, that's 10 data drives, that's 40 terabytes. So I actually get eight more terabytes out of it than making the array physically smaller with fewer drives, but higher capacity drives. And that's one of the trade-offs with RAID arrays. You know, assuming you're like me and you have a certain amount of money to spend, and your real first concern is your budget, and you're just trying to cram as much space as possible into something with that budget, well, then that's a real concern. If you're a corporation with a, you know, veritably unlimited IT budget, uh, you know, that's great for you. I wish. Um, then, yeah, just cram this chassis full of 12, 16 terabyte hard drives and call it a day. And you're golden. That's obviously better, but it's going to be hella expensive, too. And you also run into failure issues with, RAID re with uh, array rebuild times where it's going to take a hell of a long time to replace a 16 terabyte drive versus a 4 terabyte drive. Well, four times as long, which not only is a concern increasing the potential for another drive failure during that rebuild, but it also slows down your entire array potentially through an uh, entire business day, maybe even two business days. I don't know how fast it would rebuild. Whereas a 4 terabyte drive, you could probably get it to rebuild overnight it probably wouldn't leach into business hours and affect customers. So there's other reasons to go with smaller drives. I mean, hell, I would just pack this thing with uh, 2.5 inch, four terabyte SSDs if I could. That would be even better. But I can't and I don't and I won't. So, for example, recently I built a new backup server for upstairs in my house. And for that, I wanted it to fit in a single chassis. This is actually like a desktop tower style chassis. In fact, there it is. I was going to make a video about building that, but it got kind of fucked up. But this is basically what it looked like. And I, that goes upstairs. So I wanted it to be quiet, low power consumption. So I just wanted all to fit inside this nice chassis. We just had big fans. Um, again, easygoing, cool, quiet, and collected. The issue is that chassis, really, all I could cram into it was 12 drives. So I wanted to get the most capacity I could out of those 12 drives while still staying within a budget. So really it was, where's that fall off as far as the number of parity drives go versus the overall cost and the amount of actual usable storage. And that kind of boggled my mind. So I made a, I forget what I called it, a, it's on the screen right now, so you know what it's called, a hard drive uh, TCO worksheet, which is basically to determine the amount of storage space you can get for a fixed budget given various different RAID options. 
And so with my budget, it worked out best to have 12 8 terabyte hard drives to maximize the amount of storage space in that chassis of usable storage. Again, if I, instead of 12 8 terabyte hard drives, I went with six 16 terabyte hard drives, again, 32 terabytes would have been wasted, wasted as uh, parity drives, as overhead. It, it, and then there's even more to consider because the worksheet does take into account power consumption and lifetime cost of the storage. And I think I have lifetime at five years. And so that includes all the power consumed by those drives and an estimate of how much is consumed by the chassis for those drives over those five years. And of course, if you're a home user and above all else, something being very quiet and small and compact and just something you put on a shelf out of the way and not hear or see, if that's your top priority, then yeah, just get the two of the largest hard drives you can find and mirror them. And, and that's gonna be your best bet. So anyway, th these four terabyte hard drives, just because of the price, the incredibly good deal I got in this server, they were kind of foisted upon me. Um, if I had to buy new, I would probably have put eight terabyte hard drives in the system if I had the money for it. Um, I might've still ended up going with four terabyte drives though, just because it's gonna be four t 40, terabytes of usable storage which is pretty damn good especially for the price i mean so yeah when it comes to read arrays it's not always that simple and also by the way this along with the disk shelf that's going to sit with it is being put like i said into an off-site data center where i don't pay per amp like it the rack i'm getting has a 20 amp feed going to it and so i could use as much or as little of those 20 amps as i want without any extra cost so I don't really care if it's power hungry. I don't care if it's sucking down more juice than it otherwise would have to. Um, that home, frankly, as you can see, I'm not really that concerned about it, even though I should be because my power bill is getting ridiculous. But that's a story for another day. Plus, it's just getting hard to run all this shit on generators. We had a hurricane. Well, actually, it was a tropical storm by the time it hit us here in New York. But it knocked out power here for just a little over 48 hours. And um, I don't have a whole house generator. I have portable generators that I have to set up and I have inlets in the garage and a transfer switch. And it was actually getting to be a bit of a struggle to keep the power balanced between the generators and just not overload the generators and keep everything running. That was absolutely mission critical while shutting a lot of other stuff down. And I couldn't even run the air conditioning. It actually got down to, got down to, got up to 96 degrees Fahrenheit down here at its peak which uh, is not that great for the servers. So eventually I think I will be moving all my mission critical stuff to this offsite data center. But uh, for now it's backup stuff that's going there. And uh, again, don't really care that much about power consumption.